In this video, let's answer questions from random post. At ito ay post ni Sir Paul Moses dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. FB group ito. Let's answer these two questions. But before that, mag-random shoutout muna tayo kay Mobile World. Parang obviously mayroon siya mga video siguro sa kanyang channel. Sabi niya, thanks po ma, madali lang pala. Uh, kay Christian Jill Langob, sana I pronounce your name correctly, new subscriber siya. Uh, God bless po sa inyo. Shout out kay Maui198. Thank you big time for sharing your knowledge, ma'am. Napakalaking tulong po ng mga videos at tips niyo. God bless. God bless din po sa inyo. At kay Mr. JHL. Shout out ulit sa inyo, sir. At sa lahat ng mahilig mag-like sa videos natin. At yung mga mahilig mag-iwan ng mga magagandang minsay. Thank you so much. May God bless you more than pa sa in-expect niyo. Now, let's read problem number one. An apartment has eight bedrooms. Each bedroom has seven bookcases. How many bookcases are there in the apartment? Although madali lang naman siyang sagutan para sa iba, kasi all you have to do is just multiply eight by 7 and that is equals to 56 at yan na yung sagot. Pero para sa mga little ones na mga followers natin, para ma-visualize nila, i-drawing natin. Kunwari ito yung walong bedroom. So, mag-drawing tayo ng 8 bedrooms. So, 8 Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 bedrooms. Each bedroom has 7 bookcases. So, kunwari ito yung 7 bookcases. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. At yan ang gagawin natin sa the rest. Isa-isahin mo yung i-count, ang total niyan ay 56. Ito ay 7 plus 7, 14 plus 7, 21 plus 7, 28 plus 7, 35 plus 7, 42 plus another 7, 49. And finally, another 7 is equals to 56. Shortcut, 8 times 7 is equals to 56. So yan na yung sagot. Number two, there are 60 minutes in one hour. How many minutes are there in 14 hours? All you have to do, I multiply lang 60 by 14. And that is equals to 840 minutes. Para klaro lang, isa-isahin natin. 60 minutes. Per one hour. In one hour, that is equals to 60 minutes. Ang tanong, how many minutes are there in 14 hours? So, yung hours, kailangan natin i-cancel out. So, tingnan natin yung dalawa. Pwede naman kasi yung balikta rin. Pero, since yung hour ay nasa baba, Yan lang din ang gamitin natin, 60 minutes over 1 hour. So, makancel na yan. So, ang natitira na lang ay itong 14 times 60 over 1. 1 lang naman yan. So, 14 times 60 and that is equals to 840 minutes. Minutes. So, ang sagot dito ay... Itong 840 minutes. Pero another example. Another example. Sulatan na natin tong example. Paano kung ang tanong ay how many uh, are in 30 minutes? Halimbawa, yan yung tanong. 
Ito yung given. 30 minutes. How many hour daw? So, dapat i-cancel out natin si minute at i-convert into hour. 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes. Napansin nyo? Binaliktad lang natin ito in such a way na makancel out natin si minute. At ang natitira na lang ay 1 hour. So, numerator to numerator. Always remember na lahat ng mga whole number ay mayroon yung automatic na 1 as denominator. So, multiplication of fraction tayo. Numerator to numerator and that is 30. Denominator to denominator and that is 60. 30 over 60 is equals to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 hour. How many hour in 30 minutes? 0 0.5 hour. Now, Based sa example natin, balik rin natin itong tanong ulit. How many, how many uh, hours, how many hours are there in, in 840 minutes? So, 840 minutes. I-multiply natin in such a way na itong minutes ay makancel out. So, dapat si minutes nandito at ito ay R. 1 R is equal to 60 minutes. So, i-cancel out na natin yan. Again, lahat ng whole numbers ay may 1 as denominator. So, numerator to numerator and that is 4, 8, 4, 0 over 60. Kung i-divide mo yan, and that is equals to 14. 14 hours. Paalala lang, never memorize the answer, kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you for watching and God bless.